the great Islamic culture that developed was the culture of the Swahili Rim. And this was a culture that went along the coast of East Africa, Kenya, uh, Mozambique, Zan Zanzibar. And in this culture, the Swahili language was developed, which is an interesting combination of Bantu and also of Arabic words. Bantu, Swahili became essential to the definition of Muslim culture in East Africa. East African culture is a culture that values very highly uh, the epic poetry, but especially uh, poetry in the epic form. So one of the things that the Muslims of East Africa did was to create one of the richest literatures in the Muslim world. A literature that is so rich that even today the manuscripts of it have not been collected or collated. One of those poems, an epic, was called Harkali, which was about the Byzantine king Heraclius, who, as you know, lived in the time of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and who represent, represented the Byzantine forces. So basically, the epic is about the confrontation of the Muslims of Arabia and the Byzantines. In fact, though, it has nothing to do with that at all. The poem is about how Islam can in integrate the tribes of East Africa into itself without violating their tribal unity, without destroying the security that they have to have in their environment and their society. The poem through the Prophet وسلم, and through the people who speak in the poem answers every question that is meaningful to the Bantu tribes. At the same time, it deals with the Byzantines. What do the Bantu tribes of East Africa need to know about the Byzantines? What do they care about the Byzantines? Probably nothing. So who are the Byzantines in the poem? They're the Portuguese. The Portuguese at that time have just come around the Cape. They are beginning to colonize East Africa. They are very violent. They are very greedy. They um, are a great threat to the Bantu tribes. So this poem begins to prepare the Muslims of East Africa to understand the Portuguese when they come and to be able to deal with them when they come. And although the Portuguese are known everywhere during the age of discovery for their violence, they are portrayed in Harukali and in Swahili literature in general as children because of the fact that their traits of violence, of greed, pride, of not listening to others, of intolerance, those for the Swahili Muslims are the attributes of children. Out of Swahili culture came then the concept of Uswahili, which means Swahili dumb, to be a Swahili. And to be a Swahili meant to know Swahili, to know it very well, uh, to be able to understand the poetry or perhaps create the poetry and to have good adab, to have good character. Arabs or Persians or others who came to the Swahili rim uh, were accepted as guests. They were honored as guests. But until they knew Swahili, and until they could relate to the culture, they were guests. When they learned Swahili, and when they became part of that Islamic culture, then they became Wenyeji, which means people who belong.